Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back. And welcome back, No Contact Army. Thank you to everyone who has downloaded the No Contact app, Silencio. And if you were having issues with the affirmations, they've been fixed. So please update your app. And even if you weren't having issues, please update your app. And if you too would like to join the No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read the No Contact Army manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. This week, I wanna talk about how to make your ex jealous. Now, why would you want to make your ex jealous? Well, if you want to get them back, It's a good tactic to use if you use it the correct way, which I'm about to tell you, because jealousy is a painful emotion. And if they feel jealous, they will want to get rid of that feeling. And often they feel the best way to do that is to reach out and find out exactly what is going on. Now, why would they be jealous if they broke up with you? Because unless someone is 100% done, And even then, when they break up with you, they are not 100% on board with that. A part of them doesn't want to break up with you, and a part of them does. So we're working on the part of them that didn't want to break up with you. That's the part that will get jealous. So whether 60% of them agreed with the decision, there's still the 40% that didn't. So that 40%, that's the part that's going to get jealous and hopefully make them reach out. So there are a few basic rules you need to remember if you're going to use the jealousy card, okay? (laughs) Don't mess it up, otherwise it's gonna backfire. It has to be very subtle. It can't be in your face, it can't be super obvious. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. They're gonna know that you're trying to make them jealous and it's not gonna work. So when someone breaks up with you and you're in no contact, you don't automatically the next day post a picture or do something that's going to evoke the feeling of jealousy because they know that you're just doing it to get a response. So you want to wait a good 30 days. So you lay low for 30 days. You don't contact them. You post as normal on your social media, but you don't do anything to evoke jealousy because we are laying the groundwork for the tactics that you're going to use to make them jealous. We're setting the stage. So it has to look like you're just living your life, dealing with the breakup for 30 days, and then boom, (laughs) out of nowhere, here you come. All right, so just remember to lay low for a good 30 days. So let me start with the most obvious one, the one everyone always thinks of, and which is the tactic that should be used the least. And that is to post a photo with a member of the opposite sex or the same sex, depending on what type of relationship you're in. And actually, in one of my videos where I helped a guy get his girl back, and I'll put the link, he did use that tactic and he heard from his ex right away, almost. And uh, I believe she said something like, have a nice life. (laughs) And he acted innocent, like, well, what do you mean? So... In that case, luckily it worked because it had been a while since they had been broken up. It wasn't the next week. So if you're going to use this tactic, you want to make sure the person is just as attractive, if not more attractive than your ex, because if they're not as attractive, your ex will be like, what? What happened? (laughs) Make sure you get someone attractive and don't tag them. That uh, adds to the mystery. It's like, well, who is he or who is she? Where'd she come from? Okay, so the next tactic is to show that you're moving on with your life and you're living your best life. Again, we do this with social media. A lot of these tactics are with social media. So hopefully you're on it and your ex is on it. This is why we don't block the ex immediately. So again, you want to wait a good 30 days because it's not like you're going to go from a breakup and all of a sudden the next day you're living your best life. It's going to look fake. This is why we have the 30 day period because now it looks like you've been working on yourself and now, oh wow, 
they see, oh, okay, all right, they've got this going on and this going on. And, wow, okay. They're not going to believe it if all of a sudden the next day you're living your best life. <laughs> so show that you're happy, show that you're doing things, and this will also affect their ego because they thought you were going to be upset. And meanwhile, here you are just moving on with your life, just doing your thing. The next tactic is, this next contact is if you are in contact with your ex. Sometimes you have to be in modified no contact. You have children together, you work together, something. And they contact you and they say, hey, what are you doing? You can say, oh, I'm just heading out to dinner with a friend. <laughs> and of course they'll automatically think you're going on a date. Or let's say you're having a conversation with them and let's say it's a heterosexual relationship. You go, yeah, I was talking to this guy the other day and he said, blah, blah, blah. So you'll let your ex's imagination start wondering what is going on, whether you've already replaced them. And again, even though they broke up with you, they still have an ego. And if it looks like you've already replaced them without a fight, then you're going to hurt their ego and they will get jealous and they will continue to reach out since you're already in no contact with this tactic or in contact with this tactic. The next one is one I've talked about before many times and that is what I call the two drinks trick or you can use two plates of food and someone actually used this on me <laughs> and I mean really you're going to use it on me? I teach this stuff and you think I'm going to fall for it? Come on get out of here with that. <laughs> Anyways, so you can include an arm or a leg in the photo if it's appropriate, meaning if you're a female and you were in a heterosexual relationship, you don't want to put a woman's arm or leg in the photo because then it looks like you're just out with a girlfriend, so it has to be a guy. But if you're in, in a gay relationship, let's say, then again, you can't have a female in the picture. You have to have the arm or the leg of a guy. Does that make sense? And you just tagged a location and you're not saying anything. You're just showing that you're out having drinks or you're out eating dinner with someone. And again, your ex's imagination, imagination will do the work for you. The next tactic is if you get either a personal trainer or you start taking dance lessons and post a picture of you with your trainer or of you and your dance partner, and this works on two levels. One, it shows that you're busy improving yourself, you're working out, you're getting dance lessons, you're learning to dance, you're not just sitting around at home being upset. And um, they're gonna wonder what's going on. It's like, hmm, is she having an affair with her trainer? Or is he having an affair with his trainer? <laughs> or the dance partner? Again, we leave it up to your ex's imagination to wonder what's going on. The next tactic is to look better than you did in the relationship. So they were attracted to the way you looked when they met you, otherwise they wouldn't have dated you. But now if you look even better, they'll be like, wow, she looks even better than when I dated her. Why couldn't she look that way when I dated her? <laughs> and uh, you know, they might feel like they're missing out and say, wait a minute, I wanna see her again or I wanna see him again and hopefully reach out. The next one is if they were jealous of a friend of yours, if they were concerned about a friend, if they thought there was something going on with someone that was just a friend while you were in the relationship, then you're going to post a picture of you and your friend, who actually really is a friend, out together. So they'll be like, aha, I knew it. I knew it. But meanwhile, you're just out with your friend. So if they do reach out, and they accuse you of something, just go, what are you talking about? We're just out for lunch or brunch or whatever. The next one is to take a selfie in a bar or a club or a restaurant. Make sure you look good, you're all dressed up, and it shows that you're going out, you're having fun, you're not showing who you're with, but they can see that you're someplace that people would usually go if they were on a date. And again, we leave it up to your ex's imagination. The next one and the final one is to go someplace 
that you guys had discussed going to either locally or out of town or to do something that you guys had discussed doing like skydiving or something and post pictures and you're showing that you are having that experience without them you're not waiting around to see if you're going to get back together so you can do it and hopefully they will feel the regret that they weren't able to share that experience with you especially if it was something that you guys really both wanted to do you know let's say a trip to the Caribbean you'd always wanted to go but then you broke up before you went and now here you are in the Caribbean so that just may elicit feelings of jealousy so a brief recap and that would be to post a photo of you and a member of the opposite sex to show that you're moving on and living your best life with your posts if you're in no contact to say that you're out to dinner with a friend to post the two drinks or two plates of food to get a personal trainer or to take private dance lessons and post a picture of you and your partner or trainer to look better than you did in the relationship to post a picture of you and a friend that your ex was concerned about to post a selfie of you in a bar club or restaurant and then finally to go someplace or have an experience that you and your ex had discussed so I want to hear from you how long have you been in no contact and have you used any of these tactics how did it go and do you know of any other tactics and if you do please post them in the comments and in the meantime if you would like my help to get your ex back just go to theartoflove.net the direct link is below and we'll send you the rates if this video has been helpful please like subscribe and share if you're listening to a podcast please rate and review and finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.